When we speak about gaming, the CPU and GPU are the two most important components if you want to get the best performance. And if you are working on a budget, then this video is going to be perfect for you. I will show you the best budget CPU and GPU combos for every resolution, 1080p, 1440p and 4K. And I will also show you the level of performance that you can get with each combo at different resolutions for different type of games. My name is Valentino and all the links to this CPU and GPU combos will be down below in the video description. With that being said, let's start. Now, before I start with the recommendations, I want to say that the key here is to get a CPU that will not bottleneck your GPU. Because when it comes to gaming, the graphics card is the most important component. However, if your CPU is bottlenecking your GPU, then you are not going to be able to achieve the highest FPS that you can because your CPU will be limiting your graphics card performance. So don't worry because all of these combos have no bottlenecks and you will be running your graphics card as you should. Anyway, let's start with 1080p resolution. We have the ultra budget gaming combo with the Ryzen 5 5500 combined with the Intel Arc A580. This is a very nice 1080p 70 plus FPS on average combo and I'm talking about 70 plus FPS on average in high demanding titles. And you can see the data yourself in one of the latest tests from TechSpot from the RX 7600 XT which is fresh data. You can see the RX 6600 on a 12 frame average on high to ultra settings in high demanding titles achieving around 73 FPS on average. Now the Intel Arc A580 is not in this list but you have to keep in mind that it's very similar in terms of rasterized performance compared to the RX 6600 so you are expecting around that same number 70 plus FPS on average depending on the game and depending on the settings and if you want to play easy to run game then you can achieve 144 plus FPS on average so you can buy 144 Hertz 1080p monitor. This combo is the cheapest one on the list for just $250 and it's amazing in terms of price to performance, especially if you are working with a tight budget and you are going to play at 1080p resolution. And keep in mind that the price might be different when you are watching this video because prices change basically every day so i highly recommend you checking the latest prices and availability down below in the description now if you have more money to spend then you are going to be getting a much better combo with the ryzen 5 5600 instead of the 5500 which is faster and then you get the rx 6650xd this combo will allow you to play the most high demanding titles, high to ultra settings at 1080p resolution, 85 plus FPS on average. So that's around 15 FPS more compared to the last combo and that's only from the GPU. So we are not counting the CPU difference here. So you can expect even higher frame rates than this because there are some games that are more CPU limited. And with this combo, you can expect around 240 plus FPS on average when it comes to esports shooters in competitive settings. So it is much better than the last one. And also since you get an AMD graphics card, you are going to be getting a better driver support because Intel is fairly new to the market. So they don't have the best drivers optimization yet. For that reason, here you are getting better drivers faster performance and yes it's a hundred dollars more expensive at 350 bucks when i'm recording this video but i do believe that it's worth the price difference over the last one if you are going to play at 1080p moving up in resolution to 1440p now keep in mind these are budget combos for each resolution that being said it doesn't mean that it's cheap it only means that it's the cheapest combo that i will go with if you are going to play at 1440p resolution now this one has the same ryzen 5 5600 but for the graphics card you get the rx 6750 xt which is going to be a much better option for 1440p than the 6650 xt from the last combo the reason why is because you get faster performance and also you get 12 gigs of vram instead of 8 gigs of vram which is going to be helpful at 1440p especially if you want to play the latest AAA high demanding titles where you are going to be utilizing more than 8 gigs of vram at 1440p now on the same test from TechSpot, but this time at 1440p on a 12 frame average high to ultra settings. The 6750XT is not on the list, but it's very similar in terms of performance compared to the RTX 4060 Ti. So you can expect around 80 plus FPS on average when talking about 1440p high to ultra settings, which is a 20 FPS on average difference compared to the last combo. And the price for this combo at the moment is around $430. So around $80 more expensive than the last one. But once again, I do believe it's 
is worth the price difference if you are going to play at 1440p or maybe you want to eventually upgrade to 1440p on the line or if you want to achieve higher frame rates and have more VRAM. If you spend more money however I do recommend you getting the RX 6800 instead of the 6750 XT and with this combo you still have no bottlenecks because the 5600 actually is a great CPU to pair with the RX 6800 GPU and you are going to be achieving a higher level of performance and if you want to see the FPS difference well the 6800 is able to achieve around 94 plus FPS on average compared to the 80 plus FPS on average from the 6750 XT so the price difference here is $60 compared to the other combo and you are getting significantly faster performance and you also get more VRAM here you get 16 gigs of VRAM from the 6800 even though I do not think this is a major difference because with 12 gigs of VRAM you are going to be just fine at 1440p with no problems. Now before going with the next combo I want to explain why I did not pick any Nvidia graphics card here and that is because I believe Nvidia has some of the best graphics cards out there but they are more expensive so if you are on a budget I would recommend you going with AMD. If you have more money to spend then yes you should consider Nvidia especially if you want to play at 1440p or 4k because at 1080p I do not think Nvidia is the better option and right here I have myself an RTX 4060 which is a 1080p graphics card from Nvidia. I just think that it's not great in terms of price to performance compared to AMD. So if you are looking for a high-end graphics card then my recommendation would be a bit different depending on your budget and your needs but that is basically why I picked AMD here in this video but I will give you some Nvidia alternatives in a second. Now if you want to play at 4k on a budget once again I do not mean that it's cheap I just mean that it's the cheapest combo that you can get for 4k in my opinion. I would recommend you going with the Ryzen 5 7600 from the AM5 platform and then pairing this CPU with the RX 7800 XT graphics card. This combo is $670 and you can achieve 60 plus FPS on average, 4K resolution, high to ultra settings depending on the exact game and you can also turn on FSR at this resolution because I do believe that if you play high demanding titles turning on the upscaler might be a good option for you especially if you want to play on ultra settings. Now there are some games where you will not be required to turn on the SS. Let's say you want to play GTA 5 at 4k you are going to be achieving high FPS regardless or the same goes for easy to run games like Minecraft and these type of games. So at 4k you can achieve very nice frame rates with the 7800 XT especially if you do not want to buy the high-end graphics cards like the RTX 4080 Super or RTX 4090 and this one has 16 gigs of VRAM which is nice considering that we are talking about 4k resolution at this point and then if you want an upgrade I recommend you pairing the same CPU the Ryzen 5 7600 but this time with the RX 7900 XT which is an amazing 20 gigs of VRAM graphics card that will allow you to play any game at 4k with no issues 70 plus fps on average and at this point you are spending 888 dollars when i'm recording this video and i highly recommend you considering the rtx 4070 ti super which in my opinion is better because you get the nvidia features and you get a very similar level of performance but you get a better level of ray tracing content creation performance and also you get dlss which is the better upscaler in terms of image quality but that's for another other video. I believe that any combo that you get here is going to be amazing for each resolution and as I said before if you want to get an Nvidia graphics card those will be featured in the description as alternatives to these graphics cards and you have to keep in mind that yes the CPU and GPU are the two most important components when it comes to gaming but you have to have an entire system that will not bottleneck your combo because otherwise you can get a system that's going to bottleneck your CPU and GPU combo and worst case scenario the system does not even turn on for that reason I made an entire monthly video on the best gaming PC builds. You will have that one in the top right of the screen. Those PCs go for every budget and every resolution and they have no bottleneck in any component. So highly recommend you watching that one if you want an entire system regardless of your budget. And if you want personal PC help from me, that's going to be the top link in the description. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one.